Michael Frankie's widow made a surprise visit to the Marion County Grand Jury this morning. Bing to Frankie had told reporters earlier that she would not appear in front of the secret panel. With the report tonight is Eric Mason in Salem. Eric, why did she decide to appear? Sources say she was subpoenaed to testify. Family members say they were the ones who convinced her to testify. And the DA said today that she went willingly. All along, she's been reluctant to talk, though, even to reporters. Since the murder of her husband, Michael Frankie, she stayed away from the media. Today was no different. After her three-hour appearance in front of the grand jury, she stayed in a stairwell for 10 minutes while an unidentified man circled the building. Finally, she emerged. Ms. Frankie, can hear this word with you? With a new hairdo and dark glasses, Binkta Frankie drove away in a rented 1989 convertible Mustang. Following the murder, she received a reported $900,000 in life insurance money. No doubt it's one of the questions the grand jury asked her about. For weeks, she had told reporters that she wasn't going to appear in front of the grand jury, but District Attorney Dale Penn said she changed her mind. We really left that up to her own decision. Um, at one point, she had decided not to, and that would have been fine with us, but she changed her mind, and so we wanted to provide that opportunity to her. And so that's why she was here. Meanwhile, a high-ranking Corrections Department official appeared before the grand jury for the second time. Dick Peterson, for many months, refused to take a lie detector test in connection with questions about the Frankie case. According to the Marion County District Attorney, Peterson, as well as other top officials, passed the polygraph. After his one-hour meeting with the grand jury today, Peterson talked about a continuing probe into alleged corruption in the prison system. I think it's entirely appropriate to have a bad investigation. Do you think there's any corruption within the corrections division? I have no further comments about the investigation. Not outside the grand jury, I'm just saying, of your own knowledge of the corrections department, <clears throat> do you think there is corruption within the... That's a matter that's under investigation, and as such, I'm, I'm not going to comment about it. Also today, Penn refused to confirm a Newsroom 6 report aired last Friday that the grand jury foreman is Assistant Attorney General Tom Denny. He would say that at present he sees no conflicts anywhere on the grand jury. It was Scott McAllister last week that told us that he did know of uh, Tom Denny and that he did have a past a professional as well as personal relationship with Tom Denny. But the district attorney said today, and unless McAllister testifies, there will be no conflict. And until that time, he's not going to make a decision on that matter. Eric, why is the uh, second appearance of Dick Peterson today uh, noteworthy? Well, it was Dick Peterson that was the second in charge to Michael Frankie at the time of the murder. And it was Dick Peterson that helped, uh, you know, search the building uh, the, the night of the murder. And uh, he failed to find his boss on the porch of the corrections division office along with the other people that night. And so there have been questions uh, about that search and uh, also what happened that night. And I'm sure the grand jury just wanted to know more about what took place the night of the murder of Michael Frankie. Okay. Thank you very much for your report, Eric. Eric Mason reporting tonight from our Salem Bureau.